Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we are looking at expanding and simplifying double brackets. To help us, we're going to use the acronym FOIL and we're going to use different colour codes, which you can use highlighters for, to help us solve these problems. So, the F stands for first, the O stands for outer, I stands for inner and L stands for last. And this corresponds to which part of the brackets we need to look at. So for the F meaning first, we need to join together the first terms in each set of brackets. In this case, it's the 4x and the 3x. Then we need to join the terms that are on the outside of both sets of brackets. Now, this is a bit tricky to understand, but in this case, it's the 4x and the 5. So they're right on the outside of the terms. Then we need the inner terms, in this case, it's 2 and 3x, so they're sort of the ones in the middle of, the, of both brackets. And then we've got the last term in each set of brackets, which in this case is the 2 and the 5. So now I'm going to work out each term when they are multiplied together. So we're going to start with the first bracket, so this is our blue pen. So we're multiplying here, so we need to do 4x times 3x, 4 times 3 is 12, and because we're doing x times x, the x will be squared. Now onto the outer term, so this is the red pen, so we need 5 lots of 4x, so 4 times 5 is 20, so this bit will be 20x. Then the inner two terms, so two lots of 3x, which is 6x. And then the last terms, which is 2 times 5, which is just 10. There's no letters involved in this bit. So now that the brackets have been expanded, we need to simplify. So first of all, this 12x squared can't be paired with anything else. There's no other squares. So that stays as it is. Now, this 20x and this 6x can be paired together as they both got the same letter. So 20 plus 6 is 26. So together that'll be 26x. And then finally, this 10 can't be paired with anything. So that stays on its own. Now onto this next one. So I'm joining the first terms in both sets of brackets. So the 5x and the 6x. Then the outer terms. So the 5x and the 9. Then the inner terms, so the 3 and the 6x. And then finally, the last terms in both sets of brackets, so the 3 and the 9. So the first terms are the 5x and the 6x. So 5 times 6 is 30. Because we've done x times x, the x will be squared. Then we need the outer terms, so 5x times 9. 5 times 9 is 45, and we put the x on the end. And the inner ones, 3 lots of 6x, which would be 18x. And then finally, the last terms, 3 times 9, which is 27. So now we've done the expanding, now we need to simplify. So the 30x squared stays on its own as there's no other terms with indices. Then the 45x and the 18x can be joined together. We're adding them because they're both positive numbers. So you can do this in column method if you wanted to. And that gives us 
63x. And then lastly, the 27 stays on its own as there's no letter. Now we'll try this one as we've both got positive and negative terms. So we'll join the first terms up, in this case 4x and the 2x. Then the outer terms, so the 4x and the minus 3. Then the inner terms, the 5 and the 2x. And finally, the last terms, so the 5 and the minus 3. So we start with the first terms, so we need to do 4x times 2x. So 4 times 2 is 8, and then because we're doing x times x, that would be squared. Then we do the outer terms, so we've got 4x times minus 3. So we can pretend that the negative sign isn't there, and we'll do 4 times 3, which is 12, and then add the negative sign in and the x. Now we're doing 5 times 2, which is 10x, and this x is positive, so we need a plus sign. And then finally, 5 times minus 3, which would be minus 15. So now onto the simplifying. The 8x squared can't go with anything else as there's no other squares or indices. Now we need to do minus 12x plus 10x. So minus 12 plus 10 would be minus 2. And then we put the x after it. And then the minus 15 can't be joined with anything else. So he stays as minus 15. And then this is the last one. So I'm starting by following my foil pattern to join up all the terms. So we've done the first in blue, the outer terms in red, the inner terms in green, and the last terms in black. On your paper, it will say, write your answers in black ink. However, you could use um, pens or highlighters to highlight the question. So starting with the first terms, I'm doing 4x times 3x, which is 12x squared. And I can just see now I've forgotten the squared. There we go. Now I'm going to do four lots of minus 2, which would be minus 8, and then the x. Then the inner terms, minus 10 times 3x, which would be minus 30x. And then lastly, minus 10 times minus 2. Now two, multiplying two negatives together make a positive, so you've actually got positive 20. So then onto the simplifying, this 12x squared can't go with anything else. So now we need to do minus 8x minus 30x, which would be minus 38x. And then finally, minus, sorry, plus 20, which will be your answer. So that's how you expand double brackets. I hope you found it useful and I will be back with another video soon. Bye.